All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are today working in Inventor. Our grand old learning target is just how to use 3D modeling programs. So without any further ado, the next thing we're going to learn is how to use the what we call the, um, the loft tool. It's a tool I really like myself. So what we do to get started, as usual, click on new in the upper left new standard inches IPT wait for this code and what the loft can do is actually a very powerful tool will come handy in later in the semester or year and what the loft tool does is it takes geometry of different shapes and it lets them get blended together so pretty powerful and this also incorporates our first use with work planes now, what are work planes, where do they come from, all that good stuff, we'll be talking about it as we go along. So, first thing I want to do is I actually want to turn on a work plane. So, to do that, my first work plane I always turn on is going to come from the origin. All of our other work planes that we ever create are going to come from this button right up here, the work plane button. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my XY plane over here on the left hand side so I hit the plus sign next to origin right click on XY turn on the visibility I can hold shift and center click on the wheel rotate it around a little bit get a look at that work plane it's not too exciting right now but it will be so for right now what I'm going to do to create my next work plane is I'm actually going to create three work plane or total of three so two more we got to create. Click on the drop down under plane. Click on offset from plane. Select my work plane. And I'm going to make offset this one four inches. Click the green check mark. Now the next thing I'm going to do is oh actually goofed up. And you know what? Yeah, if we can do it this way, I'm going to right click on the X Y plane in the left hand column in our browser. And I'm also going to make that one visible. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make an offset plane from this one. And I'm also going to offset this one about four inches. Click the green check mark. Now I want to go back over to this XZ plane over here and just to avoid any confusion I want to turn off the visibility again on the XZ plane. So right now I should have my XY plane, I should have work plane 1 over here to the left, and work plane 2 up above. I'm going to go to create sketch, and I'm going to start off on selecting this work plane over here. For me it's work plane 1. Right down here, I'm going to actually create a circle. The circle here I'm going to make it 0.375 inches. And oh, you know what? Let's actually drag that one up so we can make it right towards the center. Then sketch the upper right, so create a circle in the center, it's 0.375 finish sketch next thing I want to do is I want to go to create sketch select this work plane it's the one out in the middle, now your sketch of 0.375 will still be on there that's okay, if you rotate it you actually notice you are in fact working on the other work plane so for this work plane here what I actually want to do is I want to create a polygon now by default We've worked with polygons before, but by default, it should be at six sides. That's okay. Now I want to select just a little bit above this circle. Right here looks good. Drag it out. I make mine about that big. You can just generally eyeball it, see how it looks. Next thing I want to do is hit Finish Sketch. Now I'm going to create one more circle. 
on the other work plane. Now when you click on this work plane, you should see a little, maybe a little dimension up there, and you won't really see much here, but if you rotate it, you'll see there is something still there. So now below the X or the, the origin, I want to select and create a skirt, circle. It's right down here. Again, 0.375. Click enter. Click finish sketch. Now, this is when you're gonna go bananas for the loft tool. <laughs> no pun intended. Actually, yeah, there is. Uh, loft tool, you click on that up here. Drag this up over this window. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this circle, then you're gonna select your hexagon, then you're gonna select your third circle. And right there, you will have created what looks like a banana. Click on finish sketch. And that is how you use the mop tool. So we also created work planes and we use the loft tool to take shapes that are not alike such as a circle a hexagon and then back to a circle and then blend them together in a nice smooth transition if you want to go ahead you can turn off your work planes right click and hit visibility so we're all pretty familiar with and yeah if you want to you can color your banana I like to throw a little uh, fillets on there but I'll just color it real quick Click on the color tool, select the color, it's going to be picky here, and there it is, you have a banana.